the channel and this is my WWE Fastlane predictions for Fastlane pay-per-view 2021. Um, it's the pay-per-view before WrestleMania. It's seven matches on the card. I'm just going to go through them, see what I think is going to happen. Um, I, I don't see the pay-per-view having any relevance to WrestleMania. I don't see it having anything significant to do with WrestleMania. It's an Pay per view before WrestleMania just to squeeze in some more matches, really, and hype up it for a future event. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go through the matches and this is my predictions, really. And now, doing a reactions video for the pay per view tonight, it's on a Sunday, three hours, and I have to get up in the morning. Yay! So, match one on the card is Nia Jackson's Shayna Baszler with Reginald. Versus Bianca Bella and Sasha Banks for the tag team women's tag team championships. I see this match going in favour of Sasha Banks versus Sasha Banks. No, I see this match going in favour of Nia Jackson, Shayna Baszler because Reginald's there and Reginald has a crush on Sasha Banks, who was originally with Carmella and then Carmella got rid of her, got rid of him basically, and then Nia Jax carried and started to treat. Reginald with a bit more respect and all that sort of stuff. It's just It's a load of waffle. It's a load of waffle. Um I have no idea if they do return, I have no idea what they're gonna do with Reginald when in the future. I have no idea. Um are they gonna burn him off? Are they gonna keep him as a manager? I just don't see what's coming. I do see that maybe it's Sasha Banks and Reginald coming together, the couple, you know, heel turn maybe. Something like that. But I see no relevance with Reginald being there when we could have a normal two on two match. Um, but my prediction is Sheila Baszler and Nia Jax retain the Women's Tag Team Championships. Thanks, Reginald. So the next match is Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan with Paul Heyman. Singles match for the Universal Championship. One of the most easiest bets of the night. It's going to Roman Reigns because he has a match at Mania against. Or Edge, it's just an Edge here on the Rumble. Um, it's an easy match. Edge is the enforcer in the match, which of course Jey Uso is going to get involved. That means an Edge is going to get involved, and that means that it's going to be a repeat of like Mania 14. Shawn Michaels, Stone Cold, Mike Tyson, or the Fat Asian dude from 2K16. Um, they're all going to be in the ring together. It's going to be a massive brawl. It's going to look absolutely crap, but it could be a good match. You never know. You never know. Um, but the, it's going to Roman Reigns. In match three it is Big E and the fake African warlord Apollo Crews, who is now put on a fake Jamaican, well, African accent. Fake Jamaican African accent has a spear in one hand and two African soldiers by his side. The gimmick is absolutely awful. I hate it. I hated it from the very start when he started speaking in a promo. Um, it's it's just bad. It's not bad booking. Because Biggie was attacked by a steel chair, not steel chair, steel steps, and then repeatedly being attacked by steel steps, and then try to run him over in a golf, golf buggy. Uh, Biggie tried to run over Apollo Crews as a golf buggy, and this match is just built up to this big singles match for the Intercontinental Championship. I'm seeing Apollo. I see Apollo winning it, but I've seen that there was a 20% split that Apollo might not win it. So. Big E is the favourite to win this match, but I think Apollo's going to win it because you know what's going to happen. He's then going to do a promo next match down and say, I am the best, I am the best, I can do all this. It's going to be something like that, and then, yeah. So, new champion. Drew McIntyre versus Sheamus, one of the most heated rivalries going into fast lane. Um, for my best friends, had a no hold barred match on Raw. Um, big steel slips colliding between each other. Match was Really thrown out as a no contest. Um, this match is it no holds barred? Let me know. Yes, no holds barred. It's gonna be intense, it's gonna be chaos. But Drew McIntyre is winning. That is my prediction because then he's gonna face uh, Goldberg. Is it Goldberg? I think it's Goldberg at WrestleMania. Yeah, it's Goldberg at WrestleMania because he came on Raw. So he's get, I think he's facing Goldberg at WrestleMania in the main event again. We did beat Brock last year, so it should be interesting. But my prediction is going to Drew McIntyre. Next one, let's talk about Satanism with Alexa Bliss versus Randy Orton. Satanism, all about the fiend, all about Alexa Bliss 
becoming wicked with the fiend. Um, Randy Orton for the past four weeks, I don't know how long, coughing up black bile, um, ruining this gimmick, ruining this thing. The fiend has potential, but it's not working with the storyline. It's not working. Um, okay, bringing Alexa Bliss in is good because we're having Alexa Bliss's playground. Big shoot of fire at Randy Orton on one week on Raw. Um, but I'm going to predict you. Alexa Bliss wins with a return from The Fiend because we haven't seen The Fiend since the TLC pay per view because he got basically burnt alive. Burnt alive. It was a mannequin, obviously. But. We haven't seen him since TLC, so that was November or December. So he has to make it a table for me, otherwise there's no relevance. So that's my prediction. That Randy Orton, no Alex Bliss is gonna win thanks to the feed. Match six is Shinsuke Nakamura versus Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins making his return for I don't know how long. Um, I'm I'm seeing this as a general house match. If you don't know what that means, basically, if you go to a WWE live event. A typical house style match um, no relevance behind it just a normal one-on-one -on -one match in the ring with clean clean pin just nothing really happening there I'm seeing Seth Rollins win this match Shinsuke has just been bad bring nothing in the WWE since 34 Mania 34 when he did a heel turn nothing interesting because of Nakamura since then so I see no relevance with this match whatsoever being on the card that's why it's a mid card obviously um, but yeah that's my prediction. Riddle versus Mustafa Ali for the United States Championship is the last match on the card. I think it's the main event. I don't want to think it is, but I think Daniel and excuse me, Roman Reigns is the main event. Um, it's for the United States Championship. The bro, the original bro, Riddle, gonna retain. Mustafa can only win if the stupid, probably rip off of like the Dark Order. Uh, Retribution get involved, T Bar, Slapjack, Flapjack, I can't remember his flipping name, and I don't know who the other lass is, but they really, these are a bunch of NXT no guys, and they've even been put in a mask to go on Raw. That was a whole point behind them. So, it was originally just NXT guys, put them in a mask, attack the performance center when they were there, and just get relevant. That's it. So, Mustafa Ali can only win with the re uh, Retribution. But Riddle's gonna win it because then they can have build something into Mania. And maybe New Day have a match at Mania with the Tag Team Championship. See so they have AJ and almost with. Oh, almost. 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 I can't remember its name. But it's for the Tag Team Championship. There's no relevance behind it. We haven't even seen Almost have a match. We've seen him on Raw Underground. It's a bodyguard. And AJ's bodyguard. There's no relevance behind it. Why are you setting up a tag match between them two? Give it the flipping hurt business rematch clause and then have it a fast name, maybe WrestleMania. There's no relevance. But that's the Mania match. Come on, what are you doing with AJ? Last year he was facing the Undertaker, this year he's facing a tag team match. There's no relevance behind it. But that, my prediction is for the Riddle Mustafa Ali match, is that Riddle's gonna win a routine. There are my fast name predictions. If you enjoy, please hit the like button, stay subscribed to the channel, and comment down below your predictions for the pay per view. And I'll see you later.